How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. No, no. It's a mountain. It's big. Yeah, well, no shit. <laughs> Secret passage. Alright, that's cool. Now, shoot that. That gives me a light sword. How much do you love Spider-Man G? What? I love him a lot. Favorite superhero uh, early from my childhood. Like, there was a stupid thing that I did when I was a teenager where I did a lot of things. Like, we all did this as teenagers at some point where I was like, oh, well, Spider-Man's not cool because it's not cool to be, uh, you know, a fan of Spider-Man or superheroes as a teenager. You know, you don't get any pussy. Just like, it was just stupid teenager shit. So as, it's funny, as a, uh, a person will grow up, you get like this weird thing with a teenager where you want, like want to like fit in, like tr trying to like basically like be the best version of yourself. And as a teenager, you'll probably fuck up quite a lot. But usually the people that have like this thing where they're like a teenager and they're trying to like not like certain things because it's weird. Most people don't give a shit again once they're, you know, an adult. Like I'll tell you, this is that like, now that I'm 22, and I'm out of high school and I'm in college, you don't have to worry about like who's the popular kid or uh, how much, you know, what's your body count or being like, yo, hey, uh, you know, are you cool and have like a cool car, yada, yada, this, all that. You know, like all that crap is just shit that you do as a teenager just because like it's just a cool thing to do. But uh, I I've gotten back into Spider Man and just more stuff I just in general like because uh, I just want to enjoy what I like. More traps. That's more admirable people than anything. Oh, that's definitely a spike trap. Take it. But I love Spider-Man, okay. dude. He's like my all-time favorite superhero. And if he was real, that would be cool. But honestly, if you really think about it, if you really think about it, superheroes could easily be real. Um, I'm curious. I hope that this doesn't proceed to cutscene. I just want to see if there's a loop back here. Um, but if you really think about it, when it comes to like superheroes, there's nothing stopping superheroes from ever being real. Take, like, for example, Batman or Iron Man. Basically, those are rich dudes that have the ease of access to be able to make and, like, produce all these cool electronics and stuff like that to basically give themselves their superpowers. You don't have to necessarily be a mutant. So, like, for example, there's nothing stopping, like, let's say Elon Musk from wanting to become Iron Man. He's got the money. He's got the funds. The dude's chill as hell. Uh, <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can have it where, um... Ah, uh, shit, who's another guy that's, like, really rich that could easily do that? I, I know other rich people, but I'm trying to think of people that would actually be more likely to become a hero rather than, like, I guess you say, like, a... Because I was thinking of villains at first, almost. But, uh, yeah, Elon Musk could easily be a Batman or an Iron Man if he really wants to. He's got the money. Just as an example. Hell, even Spider-Man, the newer adaptations lately, they're not even necessarily mutants. I mean, they're technically mutant traits, but they mostly have their technology on their side. Spider-Man makes artificial web shooters, whereas when Toby was first doing Spider-Man, it was originally just a part of his character, like it was built into him. Hey, Vinky, what's up, G? Welcome back to another live stream. I hope you're well. Welcome back. Welcome back. Everyone, please say hello to Vinky. And then this was the tunnel. Okay, good, 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 good. Vinky, how are you doing, G? Let me know how your day's going. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to God of War. Okay, this was the part where I found the secret passageway. My leg is broken. Uh, how the frick do I go down the stairs? Uh, if your leg is broken, well, one of the things you could easily do is you could try to just jump for it. <laughs> you could hop on one leg and just hold on the guide railing. You could wing it, but uh, I would honestly just recommend not doing that. But uh, if you're asking for actual advice, I would just say is that if you genuinely are concerned, you could easily just... Um, uh, I could just I could just say you could probably I'm gonna see if I can make this oh shit oh shit oh shit uh you could probably just walk down by like crawling you could sit on your ass and you could just keep smoothly walking around oh wait he can go through this you could do a butt scoot is this open the whole entire way curious here hold on a sec hold on a sec chat can I get every spike to move no, that does get stuck. Do I need him to, like... Is there a gap I'm looking for or something? Oh! When one opens, the other closes. Okay. Wish 
So is he just gonna follow through this little like uh hole in the ground? Probably. Treus. It didn't break, it's in critical condition. Oh yeah, I got you. Oh shit, that hurt. But uh, yeah, man, like regardless of whether or not that your leg is critically broken or not, you're in my thoughts, man. I hope that your leg does well. Uh, just take it easy. In fact, I'm kind of in like the same boat as you or something similar. I mean, my one right foot, my one big toe has a, uh, what I believe is an ingrown toenail because I've had them before and uh, I'm just babying it. So, uh, I was swimming in a shark bit. My what the fuck? What? What? Where? Wait, hold on. Where are you? What? Where were you swimming that had sharks in it? Where were you that had a shark, bro? Well, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I understand that that does kind of sound like an outlandish statement, Jake. I, I do agree. It is pretty out there, but uh, I want to at least give him a chance to clarify. I don't want to say necessarily either or. Oh, there's a... I don't want to necessarily he's right or wrong. He could generally be right. Just because something's outlandish sounding doesn't mean that it is truly outlandish, you know? So let's, let's give him a chance. I'm, I'm curious, man. So exactly how would, would this happen? Where would you be that there would just be a shark? I don't know, I was like a little drunk and the stupid uh, thought came to mind as being like, do you guys want to, where were you? Like what part, like what part of the country, like, or what part of the world do you live in where you can swim at this time? Like where, where, what fresh water would you find this shark in? You know what I mean? Am I supposed to kill you? What happened to him? He died. Am I supposed to battering ram this door? I'm pretty sure I am. Hold on. Hold on a sec, chat. I I'm almost, uh... Ready to ch Oh, there's a door is what it is. Almost ready to, uh, proceed. It moved! And we're stuck. Locked. I see that. I like how he cuts them off and interrupts them. There. stop and then go behind the door bottoms up the giants of the mountain were uh, so creative even these cups are little pieces of art not two are alike each one special we should uh, see how many we can collect they seem rare and valuable Well, if that's the case, um, I can only just say is that I wish you the best of luck with your leg, man. It seems like a really weird freak accident. Um, not saying I believe you or, or not believe you. I'm just saying is that if it is true, then I hope your leg's fixed. If it's, if it's not, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Just trying to have a conversation, man. I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Ah, Kratos, stop. Kratos, just only go so far so I can get up with the damn fucking thing. Three days to go. Nice. My worst enemy is stairs. There's gotta be extra loot. The 
bridge is now lined up. Uh... I'm this? Uh... Trippy Moab is the best thing for the world. <laughs> I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion about the matter, for sure. So, I head over here for a second. I want to I wanna go as deep as I can into these caves, off the hope that I can find some really good loot. And then we'll proceed throughout the campaign as normal, chat. We don't necessarily need to blindly rush in. Not, it's not needed. Let's also get to see more action with this. It's a bridge. Ah, it's just a light. Uh, this is a bridge, though. That gives me a bucket. Oh, you're alive. There was a different color hue to it. It's okay, I'm Australian. We can survive anything, dude. That would make sense about why you were swimming, man. Because Australia, your summer is our winter. We, we're opposites of each other because of our climates. That would make sense about why you would have, like, whether useful. we're swimming. Leave it alone. I know. Can I push down the chain? But, uh, Vinky, I didn't know that you were Australian, man. That's really, really cool, actually. I had one mod a while back that was Australian. Uh, I haven't seen him in a fat minute just because his time zones are so different. He really can't catch streams and he was busy with school. But uh, it's cool to know I got another Australian viewer, man. Shout out to Australia for being Australian. I've always liked the country, so. I like figuring out when you guys live in different parts of the world. It's fascinating to me. We're learning about different cultures and everything. Yo, I got you, Gogeta. Chill pill, indeed. Rare wrist armor. I actually just have the one mint. First blue armor that we've got for our wrists. I want to keep upgrading uh, Kratos where I can. It's mostly also why I'm exploring, guys. Because when the game said that, basically, like, you have to keep going back to, like, really upgrade yourself. I really want to see how true that is. I really want to see, like, do I have to truly do a new playthrough to really get everything in the game. But, uh, it doesn't seem that way. It seems like I can progressively upgrade him over time. Really just a choice, if anything. BRB, I need to see if I can think of something genius. Yeah, no problem, man. You're you're all good. We'll wait for you. What's down here? Okay, so this is just a room with a chest now. Another red chest. What'd that give me? Loot. So, I can only assume that the next thing that we gotta do, guys, is just go throughout here. It's just try to batter and ram the door, right? Right? Is that not what we're meant to do? How did Atreus look like... <laughs> I mean, he said that this was the way to line it up original, right? So maybe we do have to line up here, because the, the indicator about where to go is gone now, so... Oh, really? <laughs> That's actually really funny, man. Well, I mean, it's funny. Basically, if you're anything besides American, nobody, like, really, like... Like, see, it's funny. If you're anything besides American, people really just like to hear about your accent and, like, your different cultures. If you're American, really, nobody cares about your accent. Or at least I don't think so, personally, the fact that I'm American. Like, I don't know if people feel about Americans the way that everyone else does feel about, like, uh, all you guys, about with, like, all of our different accents. Because, I mean, I never really see people say, like, oh, an American accent is so cool or whatever. You know what I mean? But then again, though, we have some really unique ones. We got, like, the northern accent, the southern accent, the even, like, state-specific ones like Brooklyn or New York or, you know, other one. Or Oklahoma or, uh... 
Which one's uh, like oh, another one that comes to mind? This is another one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, Vader, you can relate. I was gonna say it's mostly northern, southern, and like uh, Dakota. I know Dakota's a really another unique one other than New other than New York. Where am I? Is it just through here? This is probably the next spot, right? Yeah, it's the one with the rock. Okay. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour for the work for the hours and take. Broken. It's funny. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I actually like recently put a comment on the one-hour version of the Rockverse video, and some one of you guys actually found my comment. It was actually kind of funny. Ran to one of you guys on a different video that wasn't even mine. Gets a, a, us a cut through. I bet. And kick the chain down. Are we going down here? Because we're supposed to lift up the the hook. Remember, like we're supposed to lift up the thingy. Oh, dude, it really doesn't matter like how you speak, and it's like who cares if you have the traditional um fucking stereotype or non-stereotype language. You can really talk however you want. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Like, for example, hypothetically, I, I talk about this a lot with Amble. Me and Amble kind of relate to this. Is that Amble, my one mod, he is Polish. He's from Poland. Everything about him is basically Polish. He just happens to speak English, too, making it very uh, convenient that I can talk to him. A lot of my family is from Poland. And I know some Polish, but for some reason, because I'm, I was born in America and I sound American, despite the fact that I can speak Polish, some people don't believe I have Polish ancestry. So it's like little things like that. It's like, for example, hypothetically, it's, it's, it's like a weird thing. It's almost like mildly racist. I'm just, I'm just th thinking that like, for example, like, let's say someone has slanted eyes. Someone could be like, oh, well, you're Asian, so you must be from Asia. It's like, no, motherfucker, I happen to be Asian. I just happen to have slanted eyes. And then you, you get into this one thing, or especially, I know a lot of people hate this, where uh, if you're Chinese or Japanese or, like, Vietnamese or uh, Korean or whatever, and you get the one thing wrong, they get pissed. <laughs> uh, or you could be like, oh, because you're black, you must be African, right? You must be from Africa. It's like, no, that's also not necessarily the case. You could theoretically be as white as can be. And you could be from Africa. People really realize how stereotypical some things can be. Just because you happen to look a certain way doesn't mean that you, a predominant trait like makes you from somewhere. You know what I mean? I'm sure we can figure this out. But I'm curious. Does this work now? I don't think that's a good idea. We might snap the rope. Do I still gotta keep going around? I'm pretty sure it won't let me proceed unless I get it right. Right? This has a twisty thing. Okay, I'm obviously meant to go into here. What exactly could I be missing? I think I need to just scale up higher. Do I maybe need to cut the rope? Or something? Oh, wait a sec, chat. Wait, or is this just the same rock? I like how Kratos has a completely open doorway and he's like, nah, I'm just gonna open up the rock just because I can. <laughs> um. How about this way? We went down here and. Our jump spot, maybe? What else is there left I could open? We came in through here. We came in through this way. 
I'll, I'll find it soon, Chad. Don't worry. I always manage to get through the puzzles so far in this game. It's not always necessarily, like, instant, but, uh, I get through them if I can. Maybe I gotta move this somewhere. I mean, maybe I gotta move this block somewhere I can go. Right? see so i i can't open that because that's just generally locked all right we're narrowing it down we're narrowing it down and then up here that's the vines which i can't open at least i don't know how to open them yet uh okay what else oh you wonder what maybe the light source might be something to do with getting that open maybe like i shoot all these rocks you know what i mean uh maybe a different theory for another day Came out. That's what I. Do. Now what do we go from here? Yeah, this is where Brock was, and then we went through here. That was the one chest, and then we started over here, which was the one trap. Now I want to go here because this leads the exact same way. It's just that that was a temporary entrance. This is the permanent entrance. So we need to go back here, regardless. So we're in here now, right? And we've narrowed that down that we don't need that over there. So if we go over here, chat, take a look. Is this open? Just curious. This opens, right? Because we came in from here. This is like the main point of view that we saw this. Oh, you speaking Spanish, Vinky? That's cool. Yeah, the only link... Uh, what do you think about my Spider-Man pillow, G? Uh, if it's the pillow from a while back, I thought it was kind of cool, man. It's really, really awesome, man. I have a blanket, actually, of Spider-Man behind me. It's just that it's underneath the, uh, the Daryl one from Walking Dead. I, I got it when No Way Home was out. But it's really cool. Um, but yeah, really the only other language I speak other than, uh, the occasional Polish and, uh, the one I know more fluently is sign language. I know sign language more than I know Polish, actually, funnily enough. But my languages are really just kind of, like, summarized between English number one, sign language uh, number two, and then Polish at three. I feel like I'm kind of, like, meant to get over it. Does this do anything different if I pull these chains up or down? I think all I did was just open the wall. What Polish or sign language? There sure is a lot to see here. I'm missing something. And this was the one spike area we came through. That has zero way to get in. That, that's just a given. Was there anything in here that I missed? Alright, no, there's just generally nothing there. Okay. Hmm. I might be a little bit stuck. So if I'm a little bit stuck in a second here, I might open up a guy. It's not the biggest deal in the world. But I just generally uh, can't figure out a way right now to get Seed. I'm just getting a little bit lost. That's covered by the red thing. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, damn, it's just a chest. I thought this would be like a pathway I needed. Yeah, you, you can see, though, how we're finding stuff that we're missing initially. I want to believe that you gotta go through here. You know, you know what I mean? But it's like, what do you... Better tool for this job. Better tool? It's an axe? Better tool? Oh? My fists? Is it rage mode? 
better tool for this job. A lever? So obviously I'm supposed to do something. I'm not meant to ignore it, it seems. Now where do we go from here? Good question, Atreus. Here, uh, really quickly, I am just going to look up the guide. Um, unless somebody in chat can tell me how I proceed throughout the, uh, the campaign here. Just because I'm just a little bit lost. I'm just going to take, like, a couple minutes here. Maybe, like, two minutes just to see how to proceed throughout this. Why? I I find it funny how Mega Russian War Cry is now a recommended video of mine because we've been using the Russian men. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Alright, uh, anyway. Uh, God of War walkthrough. Let me skip to the part that I was using. Full we'll walkthrough. I don't know what we're still doing here. Hey, Atreus. You can it now. This looks to like be a, like a similar part into the story where I was. Yeah, this is the exact same mission that he's on, that I'm on. So what has he done differently than I did? Like, so now he's up to the last part that I solved, which was opening up the giant door. It, and then he goes, it's working. And then, here, let me put the tattoo to speed. And then he goes back, and then I assume he moves the thing like how I did, right? Okay, so he takes the chain down, and he moves. And then, yep, he's sprinting over to it, so he's gonna shove it out of the way, and he's gonna push it to where it was, that's where I went. And then when he does that, he pushes it as far as it can go. And Atreus says, where can we go from here? And then Kratos, whoever's controlling Kratos, takes him over to where I am, basically. Like with the um, freaking thingies. But he backs up, actually. Wait. What is he doing exactly? Oh, he actually moved it to uh, a slightly different spot here. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I, I, would, I had to figure that that thing doesn't exactly go to the very, very end. It's probably got to move a little backwards. Like, uh, I think that he put it up here, actually. Here, let me back it up a little. Back up the camera. Yeah, uh, even Atreus just gave it away. He just said, I think we can get to that rock now. So, jump, Kratos. And then jump. Right, right, there we go. So, just because I could go far doesn't mean that I should have. Okay, so that was the little tiny different. Hello, I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Can I help you? Uh, Yo, you want to be like Tobey Maguire and you want to be like it's pizza time? Yo, Vader, can you end up getting me like an extra large pepperoni... Uh, from Little Caesars, and while you do so, can you end up getting some, uh, breadsticks? Can it be, like, a hot and ready, by the way? Yo, Chaz, anybody want anything? Vader's offering. He's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, so it's pizza time. Anybody want anything? Like, anybody want some breadsticks, or, like, some sauce, or, like, maybe even some diet monkey ass? Falcon's dive. That's really cool. Oh, this is an ability for, uh, Atreus. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay, bet. So kick down the uh, chain. And then we're gonna go up here. And then that's the rock. So Kratos, it's time to do some weight lifting. <laughs> Kratos is out here getting some weight lifted in today. He's got them gains. 
Bring us this workout for the day. You did it. I think we can make the rope wheel work then. Might give us the way to the top. Lovely. Find a way to ascend. So perfect. So now, if I jump down here. Oh, we got a big ogre dude. Okay, boss fight. Wait, why did he only show up now though? I'm curious. Like, what was the difference? Why has he got symbols tied to him? Hold on. Looks like I go for an execute, can I? Ow. Fine. Is it me or these bosses seem to be easy, guys, in my opinion? Like, they're not as hard as I remember them being. When I played this game initially the first time, but I never completed it, because I, I don't know if I told you guys about that story, about how I played this, like, for two missions one time. Um, these bosses were not nearly as easy as I remember them being right now. I might have played on a higher difficulty, I don't remember, but, uh, this is a lot easier than I remember it. Damn, Kratos! Jesus, man. Just casually fucking shit up, dude. It's so cool. All right, uh, the frozen flame, an impossible material that houses the rage of the fire and the temper of uh, ice, generated through mighty battles used to upgrade the Leviathan axe. River of knives, the destruction attack that sends out a line of ice shards that inflict frost damage to uh, launch enemies into the air upon contact. Okay. Bet. And keep in mind, this is without all the abilities that we can give Kratos. Oh yeah, Kratos is buff as shit. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to give this game a, a chance, because I know about all the like the memes and also just the fact that Kratos is basically like a badass motherfucker. Like who would not want to be Kratos? At least in terms of his big dick energy. Back to the wheel. Like Kratos is just such an alpha, dude. Back to the wheel. I wonder what Atreus is saying when he d says that. It's call out. I think it pointed it out at one point one day, but I don't remember what it's supposed to mean. All right. Um. So the entrance was. Right around the box, I think. Right? You're right. Okay, no, this is near Brock. And then we go this way, actually. This will give us the uh, the location we need to get back to the like the thing to pull up the rope. We cut through here. We go around this way, unless there's a rope. Or I can just slide, just jump down. I think I basically took the exact same route indirectly again. Um, well, here, let me climb. I'll, I'll figure out my way. G to start a uh, ba G start the battle royale. Yo, I got you. With Fortnite being back, of course we gotta start battle royales. It'll be a warm up to see you figure out who's a Fortnite god. I spelled that wrong. Yo, guys, let's do a battle royale. Whoever wins ends up being the best. Whoever wins this is a god. Jake also won the catching game, it looks like, which is nice. So that's spoinkly doinkly. Okay, now it's actually giving me the, uh, the, the thing about where I need to go. Okay, I didn't realize that. It was pointing that out to me. I'm 
just being so derpy now. I like I mean I've I've gotten by, but I'm somehow being like really derpy and I can't figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Done. Figure out where you gotta go, bro. Yo, chat, can we get a uh, a John as a dingus in the chat, please? Hashtag John as a dingus. Here we go. Right? No, we're still slightly... Why am I getting this wrong all of a sudden? Like, why am I not able to get a sense of direction? Yo, Vader won the Battle Royale. Congrats, G. Spider-Man wins. Let's go. Yeah, but chat, for some reason, I'm just so fucking lost. I mean, I'll find it, like... But I feel like a, a derp right now. Like, why am I not able to navigate this place? I was doing so well, and then all of a sudden, I just got randomly lost. Here, let me see if this fixes it. That was the one chest. Here? By any chance? My god, I feel so idiotic right now. What? Chat, does someone want to help me? I don't know why, but I'm lost. And I can't go back out this way, unfortunately, just because of the way that the thing is open. I know I'm supposed to go out another way, but I can't find it for some reason. Uh, I'm just genuinely lost. Here, hold on a sec. Maybe I can, uh, here, let me pull this back. Betray us to me. Okay, coming. Maybe I wasn't supposed to move this and I was actually supposed to take it back to the front. Does this take me back to the front if I wanted to? I hope it does. No, this just takes me only back to the rock part where the, the thing is that I need to fix it. I need to get to the physical part where I like can pull up the chain, man. Why am I having a hard time finding that piece? <laughs> I just can't remember. Life of me. Here, hold on. Let me pull up the... I don't know why, but I'm just not doing this right for some reason in my head. What does he do in the gameplay? Where does he go? Why am I forgetting? Am I supposed to jump on the the elevator thingy? Here, hold on a sec. Where where, where did the one guy die? Is there anything around here? Like there was an area where he was like reading text. Yeah, he read this. And then I feel like that they get on this is what they did, right? Am I wrong about that? No, that's what broke. Let me see where they go from here, though. He reads that. Makes sense. But then where do they go? Hmm. Which way? Am I- Wait, hold on. Am I just a fucking idiot? Was it going around the bridge piece? Oh my god. I'm a fucking moron. It was right- I'm sorry, chat. I am so sorry. Oh well. We got it, though. Why do I keep it in place? That's the question. I just jam the machine. Then, oh, I know what we're doing now. Now we gotta go back and finally get the sled thing, jam it into the claw, and then we gotta get our Leviathan axe, and then we're gonna fling up in the air. All right, bet. 
Yeah, I'm not trying to bully myself. I'm just generally just speaking out loud. That's all. Is it? I just found it a little bit silly how that I uh, was having such a hard time. It was like right there. I was just, just poking fun at myself is all. So. You imagine what would happen though if I pull out the axe before I got on this thing. I don't know if the game would like bug out and make it where I can't like proceed. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is and be vigilant. Yes, sir. I also noticed that Atreus has been like more disciplined to Kratos despite not liking him. Oh, we're up here. We made it. Wait, that one's not broken. There's a note. The giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. Is that a light? Oh, it's a balloon. What did you write? I asked them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? That's sweet of him. Reached the summit. So we made it. Alright, we made it to the uh Stay back. top of the mine shaft. Oh now we back 